So today, before I get started, you know I gotta say a big shout out to my sponsor. This week, the sponsor is Livy's Cakes. Now, if you've got me on Instagram, you know that every single weekend, I go to the same person and get my triple chocolate cookies with a soft Biscoff center. And that's Livy's Cookies who make them. Her at will be here. Business is business, I'm trying to better my wealth. The game on the table, I want it all to myself. I ain't got time for opinions unless you're looking for help. I'm with a plan, on a mission, trying to make it prevail. Don't believe in the reasons, cause they make it misleading. I'm achieving the glory and the power, it's deceiving. This is a public service announcement. What's going on, guys? It's your boy DG back with another video. I want to start off by saying I hope everyone's safe and staying strong. Because obviously the world is a very, very horrible place to be right now with the riots all over the world due to the killing of George Floyd and an unarmed black man in America. We've got the coronavirus that's still about, everyone's still on lockdown. We've got um, China who are now invading India. The world is a very crazy place to be right now. So I hope everyone's staying strong and being safe. How you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into Now I'm back with another video to my 90. This one isn't tailored just for my car, um, it's not necessarily a modification, this is something for any car, so this is a how-to video. Um, I've got a subwoofer which I'm fitting into the car with a built-in amp. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to fit the two-channel box into the, to wire it into the, the stock amp and then wire obviously the, car, the subwoofer throughout the car to make it work properly. So let's go. So this is the subwoofer that I'm using, it's a Juice. 1,500 watt subwoofer. It has got a built-in amp. It is this dusty because it's been sitting down since I got since I got since my Astro got wrote off. It's been sitting down in that spot right there doing absolutely nothing. So it's time to dust it off, clean it up. And fit it into the car so we can hear some boof, 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 boof. For a weekend. You zim it? Let's go. Right, this is a really annoying fly in here. And he's just, I can just hear him. Bzz. Like, I don't get it. Because this was open. Like, it's my garage, it was open. He's got into that gap there, but he can't find himself out. Oh, flies are so annoying. Okay, sorry about that, I'm back, right. Um, yeah, so if you see me just going, then it's because the flies in my vicinity. But anyway, so this, the way I'm gonna fit this up before can be done like this in any car, no matter what car you've got. Um, the, what I'm gonna be using is a, is a high to low level converter. Because I haven't got an aftermarket stereo, um, my rate, my stereo doesn't have obviously the left and right. So you plug this, well you wire this into the amp, which then plugs into, you plug that into, plug the left and right into the high low converter. And then you plug them into the back of the subwoofer. Now I am using, I got this from 4Car Media for about, I think it was 1425 or something. The link will be in the description anyway. So you can literally just click on the link. It will work in any car, it doesn't matter what car you've got. So let me show you how to fit this Hydro Converter. Okay, so obviously each car is different to get the stereos out. So I'm just gonna take the stereo out and then show you what's next. I don't really give a damn if you don't like me. I got your double you see the bitch and I cuff me. I'm posted in the fabric and get sticky. I came with my ass and he coming up with me. I don't really give a damn if you don't like me. I got your double you see the bitch and I cuff me. I'm posted in the fabric and get sticky. I came with my ass and he coming. Right, so each car's different. Who the hell is making that much noise? Why now? So on this on my car, I've 
identified which is the which one goes to the left speakers and which one goes to the right speaker i've put a red tape on which one goes to the left and um, no tape on the one that goes to the right now i just need to identify the positive and negative for each one and then once i've done that let me find it because i can't find the hilo converter <laughs> it was next to me right so on this it says that left green sorry green is the left speakers positive it says brown is the left speakers negative and so it tells you what goes where put it in there there we go so for example the left green sorry the green one which is the positive for the left i would need to attach to the positive wire for the left speaker on here yeah so let me do that can you fight with me don't hold on now she got her eyes on me so as far as my eyes can see can't go blind could there be some snakes around me like yeah yeah me come from me father she says she wants a man a little taller now she wants a piece of the pan for like the chala money now me pocket so she won't penny hana 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 loosen up your stance try and mess around never get a two chance blackout shit so i've caught all the wires now i just need to recheck which ones are the positives and negatives on here and then attach these wires accordingly so i've now attached all the wires to the correct wires as you can see the blah, 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 blue the 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 quality the quality yeah the quality of the tape that i've put around it isn't the best you know, it's just got a hold. It's not really going to move. It's literally going to go back in there and not move. So now I'm just waiting for the rest of the wires to come. So, yep, yeah, the stereo is back in now. I am waiting for the next delivery, which will be the wiring. So the left and right wire, the REM wire, positive and negative wire. Everything's back in. That delivery should either be coming later on today or tomorrow. Hopefully it's later on today, but it'll probably be tomorrow. So we'll resume then. Kapow! the next day so it's the next day i've got the delivery of the wirings that i need so in here will be the rem wire the fuse the live wire and the negative and also the ooh, the left and right i don't know why i was yeah um and also the left and right wire to run through the car now yesterday in yesterday's video i fitted the um hilo converter to the front stereo so now I'm going to be wiring this through the rest of the car and showing you how to do it. Let's go! So I'm going to start off running the REM wire. Um, this is basically for the remote, so the ignition. So it would only come on, so the subwoofer will only be on when the ignition's on. Um, it won't be on a permanent live. I am going to connect this to the power source of the actual stereo. So whenever the stereo is on, the subwoofer will be on. And then I'm going to run these to the high-low converter behind there, or through the car into the boot where the subwoofer will be so i've run the left and right speaker wire through the car plugged into the two channel box at the front i'm now going to connect the positive wire to the battery so i don't want to connect it to any of them i want to connect it to this one here because that's directly to the battery so i'll give it the power supply that it needs i haven't run the rem wire yet i'm just going to do this first i'm going to do the rem wire last so you want to cut a small piece off like this because what's going to happen is this what you're going to do is you're going to crimp that onto there that's going to go directly onto the battery and then you're going to expose some of this side of the wire just like this side and then that's going to go directly into the fuse and then the longer majority of the wire is going to come out the other side and plug into the back of the subwoofer so that is the live wire done ready to obviously underneath all of here ready for the subwoofer this is the earth wire which i'm going to connect i've managed to find this which is the perfect size to go on there any type of metal will do for the earth wire so that's why i'm going to put that on there nice and close because earth wire as you can see isn't that long i wanted to run it from the battery over there but it's not that long and i'm not sure if you can interchange live wires and Earth wires, so I'm not going to risk it. 
So my phone battery was low the whole time and it died. I was not ready for it to die at all. I wasn't ready. No, she, she wasn't ready. So I didn't get the rest of it. My phone's on 6%. I've charged it a little bit. So I'm going to show you lot. I can't really show you because I put the car back together. But I'm going to kind of explain what I've done. So what I did, I took this whole con centre console up, ran the REM wire, so it's underneath all of that. It's connected directly to the cigarette lighter wire, because that is an ignition. It's wired all the way around, all the way to the back of the car. The subwoofer is now all strapped in. Yes, let's find out what it sounds like. Right, let's see what it sounds like. What? Yo! It's about time! It's about time! Yeah, man! I don't know why it's taking so long for me to put this in, you know? For me to finally fit my super. I don't know why it's taking so long. But it's in! My super is back! 1500 watts! So yeah, the super is in. <laughs> Yeah, I got a bit excited. So yeah, the sub is back, the sub is in. Got some good, decent sound now. Yeah, cool, lovely stuff. Thank you, yes.